What's up guys? In this video I wanted to take a few minutes to show you all how to set up a calculation for airflow, to be able to measure your airflow from velocity pressure. Uh, now the first thing that we need to take a look at is going to be the way your input is configured. This particular input is tied to a CETRA pressure sensor. Uh, the pressure sensor range is going to be from uh, up to 0.1 inch of water column. Of course, when you're measuring airflow, uh, this is something that, you know, to be pretty precise, you need to have that very, very sensitive reading from the sensor. Uh, we see here some of the hardware values into this particular unit. Literally, we've got a pair of wires, 4 to 20 milliamp signal coming into this controller. And this is where you're going to do the configuration for that. If you do not match the range of the programming to the range on your particular device, you are not going to get an accurate reading, okay? Uh, you know, we have here our input range low. This is the actual input signal. It is a four milliamp signal. Our input range high is a 20 milliamp signal. That means the maximum input from that sensor uh, should be a 20 milliamp signal. You know, it's you know 0.1 inches of static of water column. So at that 0.1 value of that pressure of 0.1 inch of water column, that sensor should have an output of 20 milliamps. All right. The low is when you go to the bottom value of your particular sensor, all right? And everything else is scaled in between, is linear in between. But if you don't have the inputs, uh, the configuration for your inputs set correctly, you will not get a correct reading on your sensor, okay, from your sensor. We, uh, once we have everything set up correctly here, we will be going in to add some additional logic and we want to add that logic here. So what I'm going to do is right click, I'm going to select new. And if you are running an older version of CCT, I just wanted to take a minute to talk to you about that. Uh, if you're running an older version of CCT, uh, it may not let you add anything currently unless you have upgraded that program. I'm currently using version 10.2 uh, for this particular video. Uh, I do have other versions. In fact, I did a, a video just previous to this one that talks a little bit about uh, you know the this version as well as the different environments that it can run. Uh, if you do not upgrade the program, sometimes it will just tell you here that it's upgradable. You know, it, you, you, you've got to upgrade before you can do any kind of modification, so be aware of that. Now, I'm going to go here, I'm going to right click, select new, and I have a whole list of the things that I have here, the, the things that I can use here. I want to narrow that list down, and I'm just going to type in flow. Uh, so that's what I'm going for is I want to be able to go down and calculate flow flow calculator uh, This is you know, basically what I need, you know, I just need to determine what my flow is So let's look at it to be sure uh, That we have the right one. I'm going to add one of those. I'm going to hit finish and It is going to add that logic for me. It takes just a minute and it gets it popped in there. So now, flow calculation, I'm gonna jump in here, and there is some information that it's going to need. All right, this is the setup here for my flow calculation. And what we have here is, you know, the, the gain, that sort of thing, the, ev the uh, elevation, this is something that's gonna be unique to your area, all right? Look online and just look up whatever you are above sea level or whatever, and I'm just going to put in a number here, say 700 feet above sea level. Uh, you know, this is going to kind of help to filter it down a little bit to be more accurate. Uh, you also are going to have the area 
of the duct work where you are reading through, you know, basically, um, you know, height times the uh, width, that sort of thing. It's going to give you your square foot. Uh, you do have a few options there that you can change, square inches. It just really, it varies. So just hypothetically, say 10 square foot on this, just as a quick number, just to throw in there. But you would need to measure your duct work to know exactly what size that duct is. Okay, and once you do that, you can also select the points that you want to expose to back net to where you can pull them into medicines and add to your system. I mean, if you're going to be doing something like this, obviously you're going to want to know what your flow is. You can pull it into medicines here. Just, you know, set that to be exposed to back net and it comes defaulted for you. And of course, you can also set the velocity pressure offset where it can be exposed, you know, if you need to manipulate that or whatever, but it's just really up to you. And once you do that, you will want to make sure you save the changes. It apply. You know, if you try to close out, it's not going to let you. And once I save those changes, I'm going to look at my particular block. You can see currently there is nothing connected to this block. Okay, we've got to change that. Right here is where I need to make my connection right here in the differential pressure. All right. I'm going to right click over it, select make connection, and then I'm going to go to find the particular input from that sensor. Okay, I've got to hit that particular input uh, and it is going to be right here. The outside air flow is what it is labeled. All right, that's the four to 20 milliamp signal coming into our controller. So I highlight that and then I select OK, and then it makes that connection for us. Uh, it takes just a minute, and then there we are, okay? Now, if any of you guys, I'm not really gonna get into the calculation of um, outside air flow or flow in general. Uh, there is a formula online that you can look up. Uh, you can read a little bit about it here in the help files. Uh, that sort of thing, flow calculation. I mean, it can help you just a little bit, but you know, if you look online, uh, basically the formula here, and it's probably buried somewhere inside the uh, flow calculation. There's several ways you can do this, uh, but you know, the basic formula is airflow in CFM equals flow velocity in feet per minute uh, times the duct cross sectional area. You know, that's where you need to know your duct section. Uh, the size of the duct, uh, you know, and you know, I'm not going to get into all of this right now. You can look up online and see exactly how to calculate this. One thing I would advise you to do, unless you have a lot of uh, advanced measuring equipment to calculate this, is basically run the numbers yourself. Get your conversion chart out and know what your airflow is, know what the velocity pressure is coming from your sensor, and then calculate it and then compare your calculation to what you see on the system. And that's gonna kind of give you an idea if you are anywhere close. Again, there are some ways to manipulate it to get the numbers to where they need to be. Uh, if you do have that good measuring equipment to where you know that whatever that equipment says is accurate, then you can compare it to that. You know, Run it up to the maximum flow and then uh, measure it and then get your values, get your gain, get all of this set to where your uh, numbers are linear, to where they do match from your measuring device into the system. Uh, you know, just got to get a little bit of back and forth. You just kind of have to do a little bit of back and forth to get everything accurate. But guys, this is just a quick video that I wanted to do to show you some of the basic steps of being able to add that program block. Uh, if you liked the video, uh, I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, uh, subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the links down in the description if any of you guys are out there interested in purchasing controllers. I do have some various links down there to Amazon to where you can purchase some Johnson Controls devices directly from Amazon. Uh, if you have any questions about this, guys, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Again, check out the links in the description, and we'll see you next time.